I've decided to repurpose this as Hyper Voice Acting Steve's his little final because he likes to hoit and toit about how he knows a lot of stuff about voice acting. So we're gonna see today if he can guess all the voices and things appearing in this game. There's only like 10 actors or, show, or so, but first our intro. Get your act, get your acting knowledge ready, hype. First um, one should be real simple even for you. Okay. Well, first off, I love how smug you are about that whole thing. But yay, Christopher Lloyd! Woo! Christopher Lloyd! Hello. Drew Blank. He plays a cartoonist this named Drew Blank. Mm -hmm. I'm and if I'm not mistaken, this one woman on the phone, I believe, is April Winchell. At least I think that's how you pronounce her last name. She is the current voice actress for Clarabelle Cow. I mean, I mean I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm terribly Crap, sorry. you already got that one. <laughs> Shit. Right even, I wouldn't have caught, even I wouldn't have caught that. And I and I have the IMDb page open, so I can double check. So yes, that is April Winchell. By the way, guys, Hyper Voice Acting has all the videos on his computer, so for all we know, he could have cheated. That's what I'm thinking. Well, don't worry, I am a man of honor, and oh, even if that voice. was... I remember, I remember. All right, Drew, I'm Trust McNeil. Sorry, but if you remember, then why aren't you... Well, oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Um, anyway, <laughs> two down. Yep. Actually, before I say what I was about to say, Trust McNeil is also known as the voice of Dodd from Animaniacs and Babs from Tiny Toon Adventures, among others. And oh crap, we are late, and crap, the cartoonist so is late for his big appointment with his boss. In my day, being late for immediate Why doesn't this guy sound familiar? For immediate dismissal. Wait for because it. Because he is familiar. Ben Stein. See that it doesn't happen again. Of course. And being fair, it's not like he's the only person that's really made a living off of just doing the same voice over and over again. Touch a Gorber! Gilbert Gottfried. Fair enough. <laughs> Both of you at the same time. Perfect voices. Don't and he doesn't like drawing bunnies, but now he has to put together a whole... He has to do the equivalent of Sega with Sonic. Oh. <laughs> That's awful. Mm -hmm. What about... Uh, what about Shiny Boys? So Sonic! <laughs> okay. You don't like Sonic? We're gonna give him more friends. See yeah. how many friends Sonic has? You want to be Sonic's friend? Hmm. No. So anyway. Oh, well, who's that zany little fella? His original. Think of it like his Oswald. Kid who's gonna take oh. the boy storm. Yeah, that's never fun when you lose your ba first baby. You were in yeah. yeah. Who was your first baby, James? The flux Wiley show. Uh, his name is Alan. And unfortunately, and he belongs to actually a really good friend of mine. Uh, you should see her. Her name is Tarlin on DVMR. Oh, fuck. I have to take a look at that. Yeah, sorry for the shameless plug there. <laughs> no, no, I, I put a same. I put my own shameless plug in there. Hype. What was your first baby while we're doing this? Um, I'm trying to think. Like, obviously, all of my. I'm really fond of all my original characters, but I'm having the hardest time trying to remember what my very first one is. Fox. Fox. Oh, that is, um, I apologize if I mispronounce this guy's last name, uh, Dan Castanilla, who is best known as... Castellan... Yeah, whatever. Castellaneta, but yeah, okay. you got him. Anyway, um, he is the voice actor, he's most known for Homer Simpson, but he is also Megavolt from Darkwing Duck, and the guy who filled in for Robin Williams as Genie in Return of Jafar and in the Aladdin animated series. Oh, dear, 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 I'm so sorry for... David Ogden Styers. Yes. God damn. <laughs> Clockwork. Um, Jumba um, was he also Jumba? Yeah, Jumba. And of course they're good and just king. Me. <laughs> I love that. We it's were all count, count nefarious. Lawrence. Sounds here. like freaking Snagglepuss for some reason. Yeah. Wonderful. Exit. A state Welcome to Team Heaven. Heaven <laughs> Let me show you what I've been working Exit on. stage. <laughs> So here we go. This the blueprint. Oh, planned even. Speaking of the oh. dodo, I'm gonna go ahead and, like with the Foot Clan man there, go and go on on a limb with the dodo. Is he Corey Burton? Thank you, Brick and Brad. Yes, he is. Yay! Yeah, you're not completely out of the loop. We were all scared for you for a second there. We were like, you should be getting this now. So, what exactly do you guys do around here? Let's show him, Sparky. Okie dokie, Chipper. Two, I think those three, are. I think four. both of them are also Tress. Yep, they're both Tress. Oh, now that you mentioned it, I almost for, now oh. that you mentioned it, I almost forgot to talk about um, Corey Burton there. He is the current voice oh, actor for, for Wood. He is the current voice actor for Lutwood Von Drake, 
as well as hey, voicing a few other characters in Kingdom Hearts. For a sec, okay? sure, oh, buddy. Nice. What do you say? Hello? The Foot Clan have been summoned. I must summon you. Oh god, he has a mustache too. Yep. Away! I'm here, sir. Huh? What are they waiting for? No, 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 no. Oh. oh Goodbye, no. Cory. Well, that was delayed. Also, the foot was Cory too. Yep, that was Cory too. Oh, okay. Oh, oh I forgot so you said. Too, and then the... yeah. Oh, that's right. You said that the bird wow. and the foot were the same actor. Predictable. Oh, so okay, so he was Cory too, and then the left foot is Cory three. Oh. Ow. Okay. Wow. He's done. <laughs> he's done. Way, to, way to rub it in. Yeah, what exactly there. just Hello happened? Hello and Wait. welcome. So glad you could make it to me lovely establishment. My, nice to meet you too, Rob today. Paulson. Magic, well, I was about to say. Yes. Yep. That is that is so oh, obviously nice, Rob Paulson. Both accents are Rob Paulson. Um, thanks. I was actually about to bring that up. He's speaking in two different accents right now. Because notice, he is an Irish sure. clover, but look at what he's wearing. He's, wear he's wearing a kilt. Uh, like, listen. Well, First it's Irish, then it's Scottish, then it's Irish, then it's Scottish, then oh. Irish, then Scottish, Irish, Scottish. I think he gets the point. Ah, oh, yes, thank you for noticing. A lot of folks can't tell the difference. It's my ancestry, you see. I'm half Irish and half Scottish. There you go. And all yes. cheese. Oh. Hey, that's right. He does kind of look like a piece of green I'm cheese, don't he? A hunk. Yep. A hunk of cheese. That is some weird well, cheese, if I do say so myself. One, apparently. Must be like Yarrow. When I think of the, the first thing I think of is Yakko. Oh, yeah, he's Yakko. He, 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 he's Carl Weezer. He was Carl Weezer? Carl Weezer. Yeah, he was Carl Weezer, Jimmy Neutron. Huh. Let me see. He was also um, the mask. Damn it, you got me, you got me sidetracked. <laughs> um, anyway, oh, yeah, he's also Buster. Um, he was the first voice of Buster, I believe, because I think after a while they got. Oh, the way, they, he wasn't Buster. I'm thinking of some other actor. Oh. I'm pretty sure he was in Tiny Toons, though. Sure not a right. out of a Wouldn't mouse surprise me. No, I'm not. Oh, what's wrong with her? Fluffy, fluffy, bon bon, I presume. That's me! Yep. <laughs> Devil damn it, Tress. <laughs> Hello, Babs. The second time she's voiced the bunny. Hello? Drew, what do you think you're doing? Uh, well, I'm gonna poke the scarecrow. You know. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't incite any fear in me. You thought the bundle of straw was alive, didn't you? Oh. No. Well, okay, maybe I did. It's not like I haven't seen weirder stuff. True. Oh, <laughs> that, is, yeah. that is Christopher's... <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute, there oh, he is. Oh. Scarecrow is just a... Hello? Oh. Scarecrow. You were saying... <laughs> hey, <laughs> did one of you minxes call me a rag-clad bundle of straw? I'm just... Or did that all happen in some beastly dream? I don't know. Dreams are the strangest thing. Okay, this one this I happened. know for certain is Jeff Bennett. One the other day. Yes. I was floating high above the world. Jeff Bennett. The wind Jeff Bennett. Some of his more noteworthy performances sure are including, but not limited to, already. Johnny Bravo, Brooklyn mm -hmm. from oh, Gargoyles. Um, I'm just gonna take a piece of crow. Yeah, I'm uh, sure not a crow, a uh, piece of corn. Just like, how do you go from how do you go from this to hoo ha hoo? Probably because he has that good of an agent. Oh. Oh, oh, oh no! Off. You doing, gents? Hi, Jim. Lovely day for hey, Jim. <laughs> how you doing, Jim? Yeah, that kind of just gives it away. At your yeah, the big like, bad wolf. I like how I don't even have to say the last name that everyone knows. <laughs> we <him>. know. <laughs> and practical, big bad is a real mouthful. Another crack like that, my friend, and you'll be the mouthful. His growly voice is just the I perfect growly voice. Speaking. I'm Drew Blank, yes. and he's Flux Wildly. In fact, uh, he's so well-known, I, I don't think I'm even going to bore you people with his filmography. Uh, I'm pretty sure at least a good handful of you will know what else he's done. Well, we can talk well, a little bit about some of our favorite you know what? ones. Like... There's, there's one voice he's done that I'm sure a lot of people probably don't remember. Um, he was a terror mask in Splatterhouse's remake. Huh. I was about to ask if that was the one you mentioned. But yeah, I remember that. He basically used the same voice he used for Robotnik at 10 a.m., right? Without. Yeah, he did, and it actually worked. It actually was, and it, it felt weird at first, but at the same time, it actually fits so well with those teeth. By the way, what the heck kind of cigarette is that thing he's holding? <laughs> yeah, especially his Cummings. <laughs> oh, Devil God, damn it. Oh, good lord, Jim. <laughs> but seriously, what kind of cigarette is that? <laughs> it's one of those cigarette holder thingies like Krell Deville uses. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, that's, you know what? That's actually, 
that's pretty smart that the unconscious mouse doesn't really t doesn't really phase it at the slice. That's actually pretty realistic. Right. Because that's actually not the mouse itself that scares it, it's the noise they make. Correct. Therefore, we need to wake it up, which we just did with some fertilizer. For once, the game actually got that right. So there we go. Now, instead of just being a nervous... And off we go. Eh, close enough. Off to Acme Acres. Well, that was idiotic. What happened, Steve? What, what, what was what was idiotic, Steve? Um, funny story. I figured I should go ahead and give everyone a bit of context. Um, when we started recording for this third part, we not even a minute into the video, the power went out at my house. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Oh. What timing? I told you it was the mini fridge. I told you. He was like, I want to open my mini fridge now, and then you left. And then zap. By the way, welcome to Whack Me Concepts. Totally original idea, do not stop. And totally not adulterated in the slightest. Warp is just kind of a natural extension of Warp and Me's hobby, see? What hobby is that? Beating the living crap out of each other for grim. <laughs> okay. Oh. So basically, this is, so this is if Tom and Jerry decide to become businessmen. Oh, I see. But what's in it for us? By the way, by the way um, you know I'm just going to go ahead and get this out of the way. I think the dog is Jeff Bennett. For the opportunity to beat the living crap out of each that he is. Mm -hmm. He can show us some of the prototypes of their abuse technology. Oh. So let's see. Um, how about this powder itching powder? Itching powder. Oh, my goodness. Shake and oh, flake itching powder. Shake sure, and flake. Lots of stuff can make it but, like, listen. But our powder has a special... Added ingredient, lepro C. I guarantee uh, it'll give you a lot more than a little tangle. Itching powder with lepro C. Uh, for those of the simple tongue, what is that? Leprosy is an illness, like a disease where skin and body parts would begin to decay and fall oh, off. That's terrible. Now let's see Therefore, if this takes advantage of it. Therefore, he's just gonna start itching. <laughs> Going into his inner canine instincts. We all have to regress. Uh oh. Oh, what happened to his ear? Oh dear. Oh no. His ear fell off. But he can't stop oh, scratching. He has, he has oh. leprosy. He has leprosy. That's... This is why. God damn. What rating is this game again? Oh, don't worry. As long as there's no blood, Not we can get away with it. <laughs> um. About that. <laughs> Let's see, uh, let's try let, let let's try the old flower squirt trick. Garden variety squirting flower. Why sprinkle your buddy with plain old water when you can douse him with an unhealthy portion of extra strength acid? Good what? Grief. Wait. I was Even wondering where I left this. that. Show him more. Oh god. Alright, we'll just prick that. Ah, oh, oh, there we go. Ooh, never mind. Yeah, this will I'd be shocked if this is ready to be for E K A or E. But oh god. Keep there. Acid. By the way, I love how this I love how this other dog is oh. Well they're just demonstrating. I know it, so I'm assuming just, he was I just love how he's that. he's so very quick he's willing to do all this for the sake of his own sanity. Not to mention he must oh, have some kind of cigar. rapid healing factor if he's able to recover from acid pouring on your face so quickly. Cartoon logic. There you go. Cartoon logic. Yeah, so long as we don't have the dip on standby, we're good. Yes. So here we go, exploding cigars. Oh, there's a classic. But this is the fat man of Trickstow Geese. And what and what hook better to use it on than a fat man? A fat cat. Oh. Eh. Okay, that oh, wasn't man. as bad as And earlier. the last one. We'd love to see a demonstration. The old boxing the glove trick. Right away, customer satisfaction is our middle name. Let me guess. Turn around, you step on another satisfied customer. Correct. Okay. <laughs> With the simple press of a button, this glove will smash the living daylights out of any unsuspecting sucker skull. Ooh. The chump on the receiving end is guaranteed to see stars every guaranteed time. Guaranteed to see stars. Want, folks, I have a feeling that's going to be useful for later. Heads, blow after, blow after, it will, actually. Blow. So let's see. Observe. No quality of our Ooh. genuine synthetic leather. <laughs> there we go. Oh, God. Oh, the extendo hand. Ooh. Oh! Wow. That, uh... Oh my goodness. Well... Oh, oh and he stars. the daylights out of him. Sure okay, let's take these stars. These came from. Oh nope. my goodness. Guaranteed to see stars, and we took them. Oh my goodness, this is... And uh... he just walks it off. Wait, shush. I have to let... Shush. Yeah. That should do it. Okay, I don't even need I mean, to say who this we is. Don't need... So, um, and let me who the guy is again. It. I'm not in the mood for Tim Curry. Okay, just making sure. I need time. To yeah, I figured I didn't need to say that because he just has that distinctive voice. Yes, my liege. 
He is the best villain voice. Maybe I'm just too used to some so, of his other roles, like um, Professor Calamitous. Yeah, Professor, Professor Calamitous, he was the organ from the Beauty and the Beast uh, special. Yeah. And Nigel Thornberry. I thought he was alright as Forte. Well, not, I don't, I don't mind Thornberry. so much the character himself, but the movie. Eh. Oh. It's a new, our nearly impossible questionnaire. We'll say, you have, we'll say, you have won Wackmies. Not everyone's a winner contest. A free Wackmie product is your stay in the unlikely event that you answer all of our questions correctly. That's right, there are absolutely no strings attached, except you have to correctly answer every last of our maniacally difficult questions. Frankly, we doubt that today is your lucky day. Call now for your free prize, or at least a bunch of questions. <laughs> Always read the fine, fine print. Oh, look, two scrawny stick figures have wandered accidentally into Gee, my world. Gee, I wonder who that is. By accident. Again. Well, I gotta give, I gotta give Jeff, be, I gotta give Jeff cred. That's not too bad of a Schwarzenegger voice. Yes, girls, come inside now. Yeah, yeah Jeff Bennett does sizes. stuff. It's easy to play. Just listen to each question, and then. Using your For everybody since Hype's on here, this is Corey Burton. Hey, end. Corey Burton. How you doing? Question one. What color is Jim I think he was from that Gravity Falls episode where uh, where um, Dipper got the new voice. Oh, yeah. That. That was... I've got a new voice. I still kind of cringed at that part of the episode. Not gonna lie. what you win? A hammer to the face. Ah, I was too sick. Ah. I, already won, I already won the, the magnets, so... But good news, what? we have a substitute. Oh? Ow! Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, yeah. Hey, stop your slap fight. Get over here. Happy slaps. All yeah, that glue. Oh. Uh, Make one for each of us. Making all that glue really did it to him. Oh, oh yeah, I just realized. Yeah, Elmer's glue. I just got that. <laughs> oh! Oh, that, that's... It's already How did you guys not oh, get gosh. that? Sorry. I was too busy I'm trying fine. to keep an ear out for my exam. So now there's some big audio sync delay here, but he's about to show us his routine. Oh, here we go. Sound effects are going to be so messed up at the moment, but I'll fix it later. Look, at, look him. at him go. Woo! Look at him gracefully flying through the air like a gazelle. A true man's Sweet. best friend. Indeed. My goodness, he had a loss. Now let's go to the judges. Tens all around, except for the Russian judge. They give that one a seven. Oh, those, oh, those Russians. That was amazing. So, uh, is this an arcade? No, it's a flower shop. Only we're fresh out of flowers. Hi, Dom DeLuise. Of course it's an arcade, you mean There you are. <laughs> I was thinking that guy sounded familiar. You yep, mm -hmm. Dom DeLuise. It's good, not saying Don Bluth are crappy movies, but just that it's all I know from are Don Bluth movies and then other crappy movies. Yeah, like and is that one weird, weird, and that one weird thing no, from Dexter's Lab that was Dee Dee's imaginary Karen, friend. I forgot. Oh, yeah. oh fuck! I forgot about that. That was Don DeLuise. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay. So you found me out. Dora. So let's go ahead and use this giant whack me mallet that we got. That is used by the profession. This thing is weighing a ton. Oh my god! This thing is so heavy. Oh gosh. Oh. oh come on. So parent. So we have the right idea, but we're not strong enough to even use this mallet properly. So we need so, to get fit. So here we go. I'm surprised he doesn't even notice the butter. I'm amazed too, but oh, there it goes. Oh, wow. Wait. <laughs> oh, dear. Ooh. Amazing, it's good momentum going forward. Oh, jeez. And the Russian gives that a 10. Yay! The only time the Russian gives it a ten. Come again when you can't stay longer. So there, with no gym in the way, it's time to use the pumpotron. Yay! Let's get time fit. To get fit. We are now at our peak, Christopher Lloyd, top physique. Look at that bod. <laughs> How does it feel to be in so that's what we fit does to a player. Do you have any aspirin? Okay. Oh, it didn't look like a tick as oh. how you do it. Seriously. Uh oh. What? It's time to meet. Oh, what the? <laughs> Suddenly. Oh no! The evil the blonde! What happened to those poor folks? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you. the internet! Oh ho ho ho! Wow. Polly? Mistress Marge! And Punisher Polly! Oh my goodness. Of destruction. A cow in leather, <laughs> dear lord. 
Hello. Keep that, keep that icon out of her utter, please. <laughs> That's the speaking. I can't. I know, but still. Oh yeah, what happened? Oh, yeah, where's Elma? Yeah, where's Elma? Oh god. The oh wait, machine. I think I know where he's at. Elmer. Oh. Sticky question. Very. Oh. I no. haven't seen Elmer for quite a while. Aww. That's he's awful. Around here somewhere. Yep. He's turned. He's turned to Elmer's glue. The feeling they're not telling yeah. us something. That's okay. Forever, forever, That's the cheapest fucking thing in existence. Give it to me. Mm. Well, see you later. It's been disturbing. Yeah. That's a fucking That's understatement. Way, Oh yeah, oh yeah, so I found it's rated T for teen. Ah, uh, okay. Then again, this was, then again, this is back when this game came out, so we can already assume things were a lot more lenient back then. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. So here we are, we have our new, awesome Whack Me Mallet, and the top physical strength of, at, of, at, whatever, you know, Flex. champions, heroes. Fuck you, I'm Christopher Lloyd. I'm not. Sh I'm not sure how to trust muscles if, when you flex, they sound like balloons rubbing against each other. Uh, Release the great world. Scott. Boom. Oh no! <sighs> and this is the face of a man gone crazy. Oop. Indeed. <laughs> and that. Green screen technology is amazing. Yes, it is. Uh, oh. That machine the, okay, with the, the new with the big right. new sign over it. Whackman. Whackman. Mm. Yep. Whack. Oh, they don't like it. Sweet fighter. Sweet fighter. Ew. That's your most popular game. Yeah, Mortal Wombat. What? Well, <laughs> don't. We're not gonna ask about Mortal Wombat. Are we gonna get to play Whackman? Yes, we are gonna have to play Whackman. Oh fuck yeah. So the way this game works is you have the arrow keys and the shoot button. Oh, listen to that song. Well, they even have the Pac-Man theme. Anyway. Good grief. Yeah. Something so, so the way it works is you hit the arrow keys to move yourself up and down. You have a shield, which you can either deal damage to him directly. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Trying to hit him down. Okay, there we and... go. Oh. And, I either, and you either do enough damage to kill them like oh. that. Or you Ooh. can uh, hit the, or you can hit the target behind them to drop that giant boulder that you were seeing about to lower onto me. But I win. Woo! -hoo. Well, that was quick. Oh, <laughs> dumb. And thus, anyone that's watched a Dom Bluth film has had their childhood ruined. Yes, they have. Oh, we have. So let's meet these two chaps. Oh wow! So that's what happened when Michigan J Frog lost his job. Why, look, brother. I think we've got some new faces here in the bakery. I'll say. <clears throat> Welcome, fellows. Okay, the skinny one's clearly Rob Paulson. I'm, I'm trying to figure out who the fat one is. Pleased to meet you, fat. All right. It's just not the same now that it's just me. And oh, it's Jim. Just you. Yep, it's you? Jim Cummings. No. Oh, wow. Me. That's me. It's like oh, a voice you almost what? never hear him Please use, but yeah. I'm me. <laughs> I didn't think that. I didn't even think that was it. I was thinking maybe it was Frank Welker, but no. Nope. did. Here you go, Cummings. Enjoy. Hope it's, hope it's to your liking. The Eggman approves. Oh, goody. Oh, that's convenient. Classy. Only the best. Let's hope he can't Jeff. tell. Nope, he could tell it was really bad wine. What the? Oh, gosh. Wow. Yeah, I think he could tell it was really bad wine. Ow. Oh, this could only be what? for the best. This could only be for the best, right? I mean, totally, this wouldn't actually What's be cooking? a... Us! That oh, face. No. <laughs> that was good timing. Anyway, if I want to think of it, for some reason I'm thinking about it, was Jim Cummings ever in those Ronald McDonald cartoon videos? I don't really know. Yeah, like, I feel like I heard his voice from there somewhere. He might have. Like, the only voice actors I really remember from that are Charlie Adler and Bill Fagerbake. Who was, who was, who was Ronald again? Was that, was that um, Charlie or Bill? No, Charlie was the Hamburglar. Oh, okay. I assume so the guy the who voiced way... Ronald's the same person that played him in the commercials. Probably. So the way to get out of here is How you have to very barely move the mouse so you can keep going left and right and time it like a swing. Uh, and there we go. And the guy didn't even meet. Uh, 
Oh, oh god. gosh. Oh, dry clean only. Ooh. That's why you don't put your delicates in the oh, wash. His... Oh no, his toop. Wow. There it is. Should have saw that coming. We're just gonna. Oh, geez. We're just gonna get our toop here. Oh no. Stay right. Oh. Now it's all muddied. Oh. Sorry there, sir. Anyone up for some wolf pancakes? Oh. Ow. He's a cartoon, it's fine. Yeah. Until this or so happens. it's... Sorry. Don't. Oh, come on, <laughs> really? Come on, that's not the worst one. There we go, we win. Now there's one last thing here, which is a book. Let's read this book. The rules of the universe. Oh. The recipe for squirrel... Oh, come on, read it. Stop oh, that. Would... <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying to... I thought I would read the doll. Okay, the recipe for squirrel love. See the male squirrel? Look at the female squirrel. See the female squirrel's big teeth and nice bushy tail. See? Bushy tail, big teeth. See the male squirrel get very excited. Happy, happy squirrel. Horny squirrel, more like it. See the happy male squirrel jump up and down, and see the happy female squirrel also jump up and down. See the happy male and female squirrel run away to make whoopee. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, bye-bye, squirrels. So, yeah, Enjoy your whoopee cushion. So we just learned the... Oh, crap. Again? Not again. It's time we meet his evil henchman. Evil oh henchman. Lightning round hype. Enter. Let me see. I need you to take care of a meddler. Another Qtopian? No. This one um, Corey. is an alien. Okay. <gasps> and he is not allowed. Okay, get away on the others. He travels with a Zanian. Oh, don't worry, your monstrousness. We'll get you. That's Jim. Yeah. I, never <laughs> I call. I could have called that. <laughs> no, of course not, Your Excellency. Sorry. And last one. And lock them away. Um. Uh, uh, forgive me, Majesty, but for how long? Well, gosh, um, the guy talk already. Unreasonable. So Silent how type. about forever? Now you'll hear him in the laughter. Hang on. <laughs> oh, Rob. Yeah, there you go. So that that was his three main henchmen: goggles, the eyes, feedback, and lug nut, which we will learn more about in the next part. So stay tuned, everybody. Hey, I admire a guy who. Who you calling a guy? Oh. Tress, you, ma'am. Tress, how could you? So, uh, what's a nice girl like you doing? Gotta give him like credit. This? Didn't expect that. Quit the two-bit pattern, Mister. So now that I have everyone's attention and really good music to back this up too, I'm going to fully now since I since it like when I did Neverhood, it took barely any time at all to actually do it. I'm going to explain how I solve side puzzles, hopefully with visuals if I'm not lazy enough. Um, I think I mean, I'm not sure if I need to restart now so I can make sure I knew what the puzzle looked like before. So the way it works is, we see here we have a simple 4x4 four four grid, right? Uh -huh. Of the three henchmen. Yes, and the, and actually, really, luckily, the entire right wall is almost solved for me. But the way it works is, if I want to solve this puzzle in the easiest way possible, first you look at the furthest left column in the topmost row, so like that upside down L shape. First, I want to try and solve it, like I just did. So now, I only have to worry about the 3x3 three three square in the bottom right corner. And then it solves itself from there. And thusly. A hole. A hole what? No. It's a portable hole, portable. straight from Roger Rabbit. Okay, so what do we use that portable Santa's hole for? Anywhere. For the most... Because because we have that ability type in um, portable type, limited extremely limited range. range. In town, town centers only, only. okay. So the way it works is, is um, well, because in most point-and-click adventure games, I can just, you know, fast travel by, you know, right-clicking where I want to go and just keep doing that from screen to screen, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a fast travel system between the three towns, Malevolence, Zanidu, and Qtopia. Ah. Huh. But, mm -hmm. and you're supposed to put it somewhere, like, it, it, I'll see if I can find the spots, but there are, like, specific parts you put the hole in, but... Because, again, it's not a very large map to begin with, and again, I can just right-click to, you know, fast travel from one map to the next. Like so. Click. Right-click. And I don't have to see him walk, it's kind of pointless, but... I just want to at least show it off. This is actually the first time I've ever gotten it in-game. Whoa! Here we are! Uh, what?! Just then... 
Come but on. Just then. Oh crap, they have a whole team. Oh, great. <laughs> what are they fighting oh, over? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, the fugitives are around here somewhere. I can smell them. Uh, I think that might have been me. <laughs> Perhaps the fugitives are in the costume shop, procuring yeah, garments with which to disguise themselves. Move it. Something oh boy. tells me those three unpleasant henchmen like voices belong to the Well, thanks for letting us know, Flux. Henchmen. What are we gonna do? We have to hide. Think, Flux. Think. Which we have a changing room right here, so we're just gonna go oh, in lucky. here. Swoop. Move it. They can't have gotten far. <laughs> so I should explain them real briefly. So those are Nefarious's henchmen. There is flavor text later that should explain, but I don't think I can find it. Talk it talk. Small, yeah, shut up. It was kind of dicey when the henchmen came in. They too. talk about how I guess those henchmen were almost like zombies when the fairies found them, uh. and which, if you notice, they look like concept sketches of characters before all the details are added. Yeah, you're right. It does look like that. Okay. Like mm -hmm. And um, I guess like they didn't have ears, eyes, or mouth, so he designed those technology things for them. But um, other than that, they're just dumb henchmen. We have the portrait of King Hu, Hugh, which, King Hugh luckily for enough, the big smiley face is his logo. Oh! So, I ink. We'll cover it in ink, and then stamp the voucher. <laughs> I ink. Yeah, boys, well, I, I can totally see you doing that. Yeah, we're kind of right in front of her doing this inventory management. Or unless, Mary unless you show you, ma'am, this is of the utmost uh, legitimate business. King. Is it? Apparently, it was. <laughs> <laughs> <Are we gonna? laughs> this is, this is oh, too Chris. much. <laughs> See, we got a we got a cloak. Sweet. Oh. Oh. That was just beautiful. Not the Christopher Lloyd. Just here we are. Remember that. Yay. Aw. <laughs> huh? Oh come on! A little later. Good things never really? last forever. No. Not Jeff. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, it doesn't affect the human, does Gotta it? Get out of here. Now he's a legitimate Come scary. On. That was so forced. Oh. Uh, wow. I just, just wanted to, I guess he just wanted to beat him up a little more. That's Curse you, Tim Curry. Step aside. I'm just gonna be silent and let you guys watch his special technique. I love that watching one. Oh! Wow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. This is worse. Well, let's see uh -oh. what his technique is. That's not hurt. No shit! <laughs> that reaction seems accurate. Oh. I <laughs> get it. Like it. I get it. That's, yep. that's terrible. Wait for oh. it. Look, Mom. Uh huh. <laughs> I just love seeing Chris's reactions for Christopher's Which hours in death? Oh. oh. Of course. Oh no, the hairpins! And yet! Oh, they really are hairpins. Oh, they're actually rabbits. Yep. Oh. Ow! Oh. And yet... And yet, Jim has more dignity here than he did as his one role in Garbage Pail Kids. Yeah. Indeed. It's time for more puzzle solving oh with a rather odd oh. voice. A, it's a that, Dalek. I was about to say, that does look like a Dalek. A, a, a humanized Gal Dalek. Mr. Robot? Robot. Will not belittle me, you diseased It's a Christopher Dalkin. Uh, Christopher Dalkin. Jeff Bennett doing his best Dalkin. smug for short, right? Here we are. Oops. Look at that. That toy cat just fell off the shelf and landed in my pocket. Mm, well, stealing from his royal smiliness is truly despicable, Drew. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> all okay. right, all right, just, just for, for you. you. We're going to take the fish. We'll take this red... Oh. Uh, uh, red uh, herring. Oh. oh. <laughs> Looks like this is <laughs> that was the beautiful, away. like... That was, like, the most beautiful array of emotions I've I ever heard me. James utter in, like, two seconds. Seriously, game? Amazement to wonder to just... Flat out, just oh. <laughs> God damn it! Give him a nine. 
Yep. So now we're gonna what? need flux. <laughs> I know this may. Oh, this be is time this is straight out of Sam and Max way. here using. We're gonna use if it's where I think it's going. It's me. Aw, that's sweet. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> he caught on. Oh, no. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Here we go. <laughs> Whee. Ow, right. Yay. Right in the nuts. Uh-oh. Come on. Oh, well, it is slick. slick. To be fair, it's, yeah, it's slick. I, that actually makes sense. Oh, I didn't fly. Oh, yeah, that is true. Bowling. Okay, fair enough. Oh, Where you go? You did it. Woo. Thank goodness. Oh, and all the bowlers okay. left. You'd have to shoot me out of your butt. <laughs> no. I'm not doing that. Indeed. Yay! No more Tominatrix cow! And she. Yay! Stop it. Aha. You aren't going anywhere. I command you. What? Stop! Oh, no. oh it looks like you really lost your head. Wait a minute. You! That's right! Oh boy. Bad bunny! Nope. The cutification of the world is only phase one. What? Even now, bric brac is busy developing an ultimate creative device. Mm -hmm. One that will give me the power to create all the happy things I desire. <laughs> that sounds, um... In short, Let's uh, put something into perspective here as well. Uh, Christopher Lloyd made this character, so he created a monster. Well, being fair, a he may have her life, but he yeah. didn't tell her to live this life. Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh, oh no, he's been shot. Oh no, not Flux. Oh boy. Drew seems hey. fine. But Flux. What happened? Flux. Okay. It didn't work. <laughs> Goodness me, Drew. Mm. You are absolutely right. No. No. <laughs> We've lost him. Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile. We're pretty much. It's hard for. D it's hard for David. Wait a minute. Freaking Utopian guards. Pat patty cake break. <laughs> it's hard for David Ogden to make a good yelling voice. I love how he's so. I love how Flux is so dazed while under the influence of the Utopia. Even though he's technically a Utopian. Technically, he is a Utopian, isn't he? <laughs> he should do. He should do more stuff. They play off each other so well. <laughs> Even if one of them is animated. It yeah. contains a little cocktail of my own invention. I suppose in layman's terms, it could be described as a mutagen ink. I won't tax your feeble brain with the details. Suffice it to say that once the serum has worked its way through your body, Ooh. it will transform the Drew mm. Blank we all know and loathe into a tomb. What? Like everybody else. You know, it's kind of late for that. Powerless. I mean, if you've seen the faces and this guy makes. In my world, forever. You're not gonna shoot me full of that stuff! Oh, bravo. <laughs> For once, you're absolutely right. I'm not going to. I already have. <gasps> oh, crap. So that explains the arm pain. <laughs> no. Sorry. I can't help but find it all rather amusing. Don't you just love a villain who plans ahead of time? <laughs> oh, yes, I know. Ooh. I can be such a terrible prick. Oh, 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 oh. Keeping up that T rating there, buddy. Help me. Then perhaps you'll tell me. Oh, no, not the fan service. No. Oh, jeez. You That's will so give in to furaffinity.com. Me. What's the matter? You shall Cat join Tumblr. <laughs> I want the spoilers, oh, goddammit! I want the spoilers! My castle. I see. You are never well, would you rather watch like the movie remaining first? Remaining your captive forever. Never. Never. Yes. Unless. Unless what? He unless will remain your captive late. unless. God a damn lifeless it. night walks. Lifeless night a walks. Dead bird rises a flame. Dead bird in flames. And I myself obey his commands. And Impossible. take care of her. These Ooh. absurd things. Well, Barely asked how. Because they don't remember it. I mean, they don't repeat yes. it. And as for uh. you, 
Again, the, again, this is probably the face he made when they said, Hey, Chris, this is how much your paycheck is for this work. <laughs> that face says it all. You can, inter Sweet you can interpret it however you want. So, crap. So, we gotta escape Castlevania, but first... Oh, wait, wait a second. This is Ganondorf's castle. Because we got a moblin here. Uh, actually, for some reason, when I first thought... when I Actually, when I first saw him, I thought of those weird troll things that Maleficent had working for him. I honestly forgot about that for a moment there. Yeah, I can see that. Well, the well, By the way, well, hey there, Jim. Well, well. Well. So, yeah, we got, uh... Excuse you me. right there, but... Okay, there you go. Yes? Looking for mercy no, I think. Old no, I was just I wanting to make sure your brain hadn't just stopped for like two seconds yeah, there. Yeah, that stiff animation there. Some kind of <laughs> he just kind of froze yeah. like. Sometimes, sometimes his brain loses gear. He has to get Let's, it hooked back up. Uh, Every book should be pulled out once and only once. Don't Frank start by pulling Red Book One. Yes, you did. I, that's exactly what I was thinking the first time. That is Frank Hello? Welker. Blue book should be pulled what does he sound like? What like, how, like what made you think Frank Welker actually? Um, one of the one of the Donald Duck characters. Um, not not from du not Ducktales per se, but uh, Donald Duck and Quackers. That's the exact. I think that was Frank Welker who voiced uh, Gyro in that game. Um, oh, this is Gyro's voice. The Gyro no, no, voice in the game. voice him in that. That's that was Corey Oh, what? Oh, okay. So what? Is, so what has Frank Wilker done? Oh, well, he's done the he's done the Beagle Boys. What was that you were saying? He's done Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Let me see. I will say he's that uh, voice actor I will say Scooby Doo and the still from the very beginning voice actor of Fred from Scooby Doo. That still shocks me, by the way. So here's the next floor of the Fire uh, Castle. I'm we're sorry. Start What's off. with that? Oh. Well, that's nice to know, Jeff. You really want to go inside that door? So yeah, it'll take a while. Um, I'm trying to think. This one I got a. This one at least I got a pretty easy to remember one. So real quick, what do we know Frank Wilker from? Uh, Steve, you start. Uh, I think I think you were explaining a little bit about him. Uh, let me see. I know he is the very original voice actor for Fred from Scooby Doo, as well as the current voice of Scooby himself. Hmm. So he hasn't oh. so he hasn't completely left his role as the Animal Man, right? Which actually, speaking of the Animal Man, he actually did most of the animals in this game. He did no. he did that mind bird we just heard. He actually did the voice of the bears, like uh, 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 like when he was like freaking out or whatever at the bowling alley. He did some of the noises that the elephant made. He did some of the noises that Elmer the horse made when he was coughing at the storm. Poor Elmer. He did. He did the he did the sped up noises for the malevolated squirrel when we saw him at points. He also did the sound of the vulture and the monstrous sounds that the scarecrow made after you know after Jeff let after Jeff became malevolated. So this so in this game he's done more of the creature sound effects. Makes sense. So we almost got there. Oh look, we're done! Like my mother always used to say. I'm an expert at pulling faces. Yeah, yeah especially on your own self. But yeah, I mean, honestly, as far as Frank Welker is concerned, I mostly remember... Oh. Hey, there's the guy from the box art. Um, hey there. Mm -hmm. Hello? You've come for my gherkin, haven't you? You like it, huh? You like it, don't you? Yeah, don't need to pull my tits on it. Though. Well, you can't have it, so back off, Chuckles! This Just for the sake of an M rating, the, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't have been surprised if he would have said, you chuckle fuck. Nice place you have here, uh, Mr. Spike! Spike, Spike the Clown. The this clown. is Beat an evil clown. version your name? Drew. Drew. of a jester. How nice. Long sandwich. Basically, he's an insane <laughs> asylum guy. Thanks. Uh, the cushion, all the... I can tell by the... That's so what I have to say. Why are you it's, a, it's essentially an insane special asylum. Room for special jesters. <laughs> Uh, I'm surprised you didn't pull out a condom out of all those. Oh god, those faces. So, balloons. Uh, oh. So, you have the two balloons. You make. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty good. Aww. What? Oh, oh Spike the no. Clown. You know, after the last part, I, I do the same thing. What is with this music? Oh, reactions there. Oh. God damn, that thing is hard to pop. There we go. 
Just a reminder, folks, this is the poster boy for the game, and we see him this late in the game. Wait a second, is that... Um... For a moment I thought... He's uh, for, completely yeah, insane. I was about to say, for a moment I thought he was drooling acid. You have quite a unique uh, sense of humor, Spike. Balloon! No, we're fine. <laughs> okay. Actually, that would have been kind of... That would have been... Uh, oh, here, wait, wait. Yes, 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 of course! We're going to have the two mug off. A mug off? Single brush strokes, either up or down. Never together. Damn. So it was you who put the dip in the dip de dip de dip I believe the spatula is mine. Klaatu, Ferrada, Niktu. What? Uh, Houston, we have a zucchini problem. Buzzer! Uh, um... Mr. Tambourine Man. Mr. Tambourine Man. Mr. Tambourine Man! Oh, he's going into his Ill inner William Shatner. Where? Mm -hmm. Where are my rubber nipples? Tastes like God damn it. chicken. I am the subatomic robot. Give my best wishes to everybody. No, don't squeeze the mango. Hurrah, hurrah, All right, then we hurrah. then we just reach the loop of it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, let's Close let's I not. Mr. Asparagus. Yeah, let's not um encourage him anymore with that shit. <laughs> oh no. Oh hey, Meanwhile. we haven't seen this in a while. Meanwhile, I guess the since the evil man's lair. I guess since the malevolent needs to continue to recharge, he's gonna go out in his air throne for now. Okay, so we don't have to worry about him for a while. And we have a fly suit, oh. fly costume, with sticky yep. suckers on the feet. Eyes, leathery wings, so there was a purpose to this thing. Feet. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, transform. Fly man. Able to climb tall air vents in a thousand tiny fly steps. Just, just get up there. <laughs> now you think he'd notice the? You think he'd notice the green chloroform? But or that could be his own snot. Maybe. I was about to say. Yeah, get a good whiff of that. Ooh. There we go. And with that, we just took out the poster boy for the game. Yep. We're just gonna take his spike, a little pin thingy, and we can use healing. God damn, dude! Really? He's already he's be sound to sleep. Just take it from him. I'm gonna be silent for this part. Oh come on! What the? Oh! Oh! Uh oh! Oh fuck! Uh oh, nightmare! Ladies and gentlemen, that was nightmare fuel. Uh, it hasn't taken full effect yet. Of it. it hasn't taken enough of it, really. Well, it hasn't taken full effect uh, yet. Just happened. It's still running through a system well, as though. As long as it wasn't me. Hey there, <laughs> fellows. I love how the way his hands well, are in there. That didn't last. Careful, careful, careful. Gotta be careful. Alright. Come and get him. Ooh. Ooh. Fresh meat. <laughs> and it's and it's not oh, animated. Oh, oh no! Oh great. Oh. 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 Crap. oh. oh. Looks like it what is with these that. fucking faces? Uh. Oh no. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Gosh dang this it. This one doesn't even think to use his claws. Wait, what? Oh no. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> These two happening. were made for each other on the ice rink. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how to go? Huh. Into the <laughs> All ten! Now, why does... I knew they now, the one thing I have an issue with that scene is they clearly made a giant kaboom sound. An earth shattering <laughs> kaboom. But it's they're surrounded but they're supposed to be surrounded by water. Ah, uh, who cares? That worked. There we are. It needs this box. Hey! It's Ray! Hello? Ray? All right, buddy. Step away from the frog. It's hey okay. there, Frank. I'm a friend of your brother's. My brother's? Yep. Did they send you to rescue me? Well... So uh, James was almost okay. kind of right. Frank did voice a frog. <laughs> so my new friend. So he gets a beat. Escape plan. Well... Oh boy, here we go. Oh so boy, on. lunchtime! <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. Well, he was hogging it. Three point. Oops. We've, oh, it's his spit. 
No, no. Oh, like they care. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh. So that's where that T rating came from. We pay attention. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and yet that fuse is Come still on. burning. Quit hot, quit fighting. And oh jeez. Anyone up for some fried gator? Ooh. Oh. oh. Where did this come from? We gotta get these sunglasses. They're oh great! So we're actually no, gonna do a Carl sunglasses. Weezer cosplay? No, we need to keep track of the visions in our mind. Oh, oh crap. god damn it! Oh. Where are the glasses? Where are the glasses? It's okay. We're human. Whoops. Well, oh, hold oh, on that box. Okay. Lucky. And within reach. Oh come oh, on! Great. Now There's always got to be a cause and effect. Okay, let's let's get him off the fan. There you go. That's oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. I was about to say, Lloyd is sick of oh. this shit. Now they're on the moose. Or not the moose, the donkey. Yeehaw! I'm in style, baby. Might as well, really we'll just turn the, the chair. Uh, the that's not off. the smartest. That's not really the most the safest like thing to do. I mean, do you see the wheels on that chair? Yeah, I was about oh, to geez. say. Oh. Called it. Oh. Well, what a stubborn jackass. Wait. <laughs> great. Really great. Oh, Audrey 2 has them now. <laughs> and that plan has my Oh, glasses. now the now the Venus flytrap has fly it. Flytrap obviously isn't a picky. Uh, we got to distract it. Oh, great. This is probably going to destroy its mind. <laughs> oh my god, the biggest <laughs> luncheon ever. <laughs> it's an all you The holy motherland has arrived. Oh, it's Come on! Cause and effect, people. Now they're in the vase. Well, uh, it's pronounced the music is to Can't reach all the way to the bottom. Well, <laughs> sorry, nefarious. Giant mallet from Wacken. Where else? Oh boy. This music totally fits right I now. To do this. Sort Goodbye. Of. I'm sure it wasn't worth the jack shit. There. We did Yay, it. Yay, we did it! True, Finally. a priceless collection of fine antiques and furniture may have been destroyed. But look who got a new pair of sunglasses. <laughs> Me! <laughs> and that's all we had to do in this room. <laughs> so, first of all, we gotta get through this voice recognition system. But, if we remember, what happened when we inhaled helium? We talked like Rob Paulson. Exactly. Ooh. Oh, I see where this is going. Alright. Yes, yes. Welcome to we the get it. Voice recognition system. Please state your name at the tone. Yak Yakko. Lagnut. Mm -hmm. So Close lesson enough. learned here. When when Christopher Lloyd sucks on helium, he sounds just like Rob Paulson. Although pretty although funny effect is apparently if he gets sent down there enough times and keep escaping from snout, hmm. he'll at one point just leave a note saying he retired. <laughs> An uninvited guest. Wait a minute. Is she really buying this? <laughs> I think she thinks that. I think she thinks he's an idiot, so he, she's just gonna try to hit. Oh, the fire oh. Us. However, I get it. If we just if we just close our eyes. Now I get it. Yep. Ta da! Time to make her obey our command. Go outside. Yes, master. There's somewhere I want you Down to go. a cliff. I go to the ends of the world for you, my master. Actually, the hallway outside will be fine. As you Perfect. Wish, master. Close okay. Enough. Onwards. <laughs> Exit. Stage left. Oh, that's that's perfect. Well. Yes. I. There you go. Yeah. Complete the game. Wait, that's it? Here yep, this is it. The rest of this is just cutscene oh, now. Oh, great. Oh, oh great, that one song. There you are, the Farius. You too, Fluffy. Right. Uh, suddenly, fl suddenly, smiley oh, face. Come on, almost there. Yeah, they were both trying to. This seems a little that lazy, is lazy, okay, like, what the hell? Uh, yes. Wow. Yeah. And that was an X Wing oh, type fire. That's it? Whatever. Yep, they're both shot down. And they're never seen again? More on that later. For now, we gotta save Flux. Fox! 
Seriously, that's what it sounds like. Yes, it does. Anyway. Oh, gosh. Race you to the finish! Now, where the hell did he go? Oh, oh goody. What the? Oh, fuck. <laughs> that is not something you want to see right in oh, front of you. Oh, come on. What is this? Top Gun? Oh, God. Yeah, Top Gun on fucking UFOs. Uh oh. Forgive me, Flux. This is the only way. We have to negate the, the transformation. Uh, where am I? Yay, we, we did, did it! He's actually normal again. Uh oh. But what about the cutifier? Oh, oh crap! No. Well, now both are destroyed. Well, at least it saves some trouble. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you're a hero. Yeah, that doesn't help. You know, this would be a good time for Flux to turn into a parachute. Thanks, Flux. And then watch as he drops it. Do you feature him all over again? Oh, so this is him in his natural speaking voice. Wait! Take this! It's a transdimensional communication device. You know, so we can keep it. Aww. Thanks for saving me and the world. I had a blast. Me too. And we're still falling. Must have been a high, high height. Yeah. Here we go. And... Whoa! He got pixelated! Oh, I figured as such. You're looking kind of weird there, buddy. Yeah. I must have been dreaming. But I dream, I know I must have meant something. The dream meant something. Course. The fluffy, fluffy bun bun show doesn't need more bunnies. What the fluffy, fluffy bun bun show needs is flux oil. Time for a Yay. collaboration show. Yes. Hooray! Hey, if it worked for Grim and if it looked for if it worked for Billy and Mandy and Concarne, it should work here. Absolutely. Ugh. What happened to you? Long story. All night, Mr. Schmaltz. Hmm. Well, do me a favor. Who's the Stubble. Yeah, whatever. Now let me see. You grew a fucking rap. stubble on the tomb <laughs> world. Wow. What I'm about to show you is better than bunnies. Better than bunnies. Yes. Mm -hmm. What the hell? A are mouse. You about? And a cat. About Flux, was Flux and Fluffy show. Flux what? Wildly, sir. Flux, Flux and Fluffy falls off the tongue for everyone. Yes. Yes. Just the revitalizing shot in the arm you yourself suggested the Fluffy show needs. Although I think Flux would probably describe it more as. I'll kick up the old wazoo. See, sir, Flux is wacky. He's sarcastic. He's playful. He'll be the lord of Fluffy's Hardy, the Costello to Fluffy's Abbott, the end of Fluffy's This is the kind of shit you do not bring up to your Flux boss. And Fluffy. Or this attitude, anyway. Yeah. Hardy. Yin and Yang. Yin. Yang. Blank. Oh. I've been patient with your little lapses. But this, this is inexcusable. Oh fuck! Are you Please, you forced Ben Stein to have an emotion, Drew. That's gonna end the world, you know. Well, are you? No, 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 no. <laughs> then I suggest you do what I told you to do: produce the biggest bushy-tailed batch of cute, cuddly bunnies ever rendered by first thing tomorrow morning, or else you'll find that it will be you who gets the. Kick of the old wise. Oh no. Yes. Thank you, sir. Oh. Well. Sorry about that. And shot the ass low. I wish there was some way I could make it up to you. Wait, what? what? Oh, yeah! It's time for the mind trippy stuff. It wasn't a dream after all! Nope, we do. Weird. What the hell? Oh, okay. Drew! Drew! 
Fox. We're in deep doo -doo. We are. Nefarious and fluffy. They're still alive. Crap. You gotta help us. I'll do it. But wait, wait, wait. How will I get there? Well, thanks to Nefarious's mutagen ink, that's not gonna be a problem. It isn't. Oh yeah, that's still in our system, meaning. Time to go back, Marty. Oh yeah. Whoa. Oh. That just happened. So go. goodbye, real world. See you again never. <laughs> I guess so, unless they figure out some way to do it in the sequel that's never going to happen, uh, so. Yeah. There you go, that was Toonstruck. Well, I'll just say this much. Um, Steve pretty much passed his final in flying colors. With that said, Jeff Bennett, any last words, Mr. Bennett? I love games! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bennett. Thank you, good sir.